For quite a while now, I have wanted to do a city building uh, video series playthrough, whatever thing. And my ideal game would have been Caesar 3, but I can't find that game anywhere, unfortunately. And I don't necessarily want to purchase it again, even though it's available in Steam and most likely also on good old games. So I was thinking what else I could do, and then, of course, I mean, I own uh, Tobacco 1, 2, 3, and 4 on Steam. So I decided why not look at that series. Tobacco 2 is called Pirate Cove, and uh, it's tropical through and through, but the theme is different. You are a pirate king instead of being a little president there. So... I decided to go with Tropico 2 instead. If you pay attention to the fact that there's no music, then I've stated that reason elsewhere why. Um, if there's any potential issues with a video, then I would rather just turn the music off and say, well, the music can't flag it if it can't be heard. So, for intents and purposes, that is the reason. The idea was to do the tutorial, just to get everyone on the same page, but the tutorial in this game is actually quite rubbish. Uh, the tutorial in Tropical, the first game, is far better. It's voiced, and you are directed to what to do, whereas in this game, the tutorial um, is a bunch of text. And I could technically read it up, but it's just a lot of technical stuff that I can showcase instead. I haven't played this game for quite a while, so I might be a bit rusty, but uh, instead of setting, me sitting here talking, I should probably get going. So, let's play the campaign. So, let us start a new campaign, and uh, because I did some testing, I've already created a campaign file called Wolf, because I wasn't bored thinking enough. And it will not allow me to have two campaign games with the same name, and it will not allow me to override it. I would have to go outside the game and delete the save file. So, let's do it this way instead. It does look a bit clunky. Um, the main reason that the, the, the channel's name is 2293 was to separate um, the wolf name from 200,000 other versions of it. So, whatever, it works. Okay. Beer for Buccaneers. Your happy life as a gambler changes forever when your ex paramour, whatever it's called, publis sub blah, 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 publicizes your card cheating tricks. You are convicted and sentenced to transportation to the Caribbean for a term of forced labor. While serving out your penal term, you meet fellow convict Charlotte de Berry. Or Berry. I would assume it's, it has a Touch of friends to it. I don't know. Maybe. It's just called a Charlotte de Berry, who claims to be a famous mutineer and pirate. Although you don't believe her stories of piracy on the high seas, she's more attractive than your master, so together you flee the plantation on a leaking schooner, a partially restored wrecked vessel. The only island you can reach before the schooner sinks is the home of some desperate buccaneers. Charlotte can navigate to Hispaniola for repairs, but she will need help pumping out the leaky hull first. The buccaneers readily agrees to cooperate with you as long as you help them obtain some beer first. Gain the allegiance of the three buccaneers by building a brewery and a smuggler's dive where they can go to drink the beer. You can take up to one year to earn a bronze medal, you'll earn a gold or silver medal for speedier success. So let's get started.
The first thing I like to do is to set the time to very slow. So, welcome to Tropical 2, the game world. Um, it has predefined some areas already. Um, I would assume they have been uh, set aside for setting up the buildings we need. We need a brewery and we need a dive in order to um, partially brew the beer, but also to, of course, serve it. But for that, we will need 18 lumpen, of course, because the game is funny. We only got 17 at the moment. So we want to build some um, resource building. Yeah, 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 okay, we can click on the stock here to see all the people we have available. We will get to the different aspects once it becomes relevant, but we need a... Well, it's a... Uh, resource. Temple camp. Um... That looks like a good place for timber camp. I was going to say before, we need 18 lumber to build the two buildings. But we only got 17 because the game is fun. Really? Build a construction center. This allows your workers to complete additional buildings. I was going to do that. Some of the buildings can be rotated and some of them can't. Uh, which is actually rather puzzling and a bit annoying but we'll put our construction center there and we shall put our brewery if we can find it brewery production where is it entertainment no wrong play. one thing even brewery we'll place that there and then we'll increase the speed a bit So, Shiver me timbers. workers take jobs and leave the socket when you build new structures with your number. Okay, these are this the black these the people that are marked are our builders, and they will go and flatten the land so they can actually build the brewery. But uh, we have seven lumber and we need eight for the dive, so Ahoy! we'll have to wait for. The Lumber Camp, which is right next to a Soma. Um, we'll have to wait for them to chop some trees and then deliver them to the sawmill so we can get some more lumber. Haulers working on a building pick up everything they're building users. Click on a building to find its hauler. So these guys are hauling. Of course, we've got the Lumber Camp right next to so Timber, timber Camp. Sorry, it's not Lumber Camp. It's Timber. Shiver me timbers and all that. Obviously it's uh, more modern, but uh, there's a touch of settlers over this. So, just waiting for some lumber. These guys should be uh, happily flattening the land. Of course, you can click on the structures to see how much of it is constructed. It's zero percent at the moment. We. The interface uh, over here you have, um, it's so hard to do uh, because you scroll the map by touching the side. But the two bars here, the gold bar, is your pirate happiness and the white bar is your captive resignation. They have to sign, resign themselves to their fate of being captives. And you, of course, you want those numbers to be high because you don't want the, the captives to rebel and you don't want the pirates to think that uh, you are useless and want to get rid of you. That wouldn't be so fun, would it? This is the information window. You've got um, exactly the same uh, stacks of information as you have in many of the other historical games and all sorts of good stuff. But, uh, 
as it becomes relevant, we'll uh, have a look at it. This mission is going to be relatively quick. We basically um, just need one more number, then build the dive, and as soon as that's completed, the same second it completes, the mission will end. So. The brewing is completed. You see the smokeless dive, we can uh, rotate. Now we got eight lumber. A smokeless dive is necessary to solve the beer we are brewing, build it on the flat spot near the shore. Okay. The snapped casket. Uh-huh. Okay. Could probably increase the game speed a bit more. Should easily be able to uh, get a gold medal in this game. If I am not mistaken, the campaign carries on with the map you are playing. So as you add buildings and structures, um, they will be carried on further into the game. So you want to, uh, early on, be very careful about how you place buildings, which I find to be a bit annoying. You are victorious. Hooray. Congratulations, you won a gold medal. Hi. So, on that note, uh, this is going to be the first part. I will be doing one more part in this set, and uh, it's not going to take up any slots. I just want to introduce the series on uh, the Friday, and then I will be adding uh, videos to it as we go along, but I want to make sure to have two episodes in this set, so uh, I will do a recording break and then I will carry on with the next game, the next mission thing. So as for now, thanks for watching, take care, see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.